Good morning fellow option traders. Today is Thursday, May 8th, 2014 and you are watching the Daily Scan. Alright, um, yesterday's announcements, nothing really too much out of line there. Uh, and whatever number comes in bad, they blame the cold weather in this time of global warming. Okay, um, today we have jobless claims, and I think that that's about it, yeah. So we can move right over and take a look at what's going on across the ponds. In Asia, across the board, we are green. And in Europe, across the board, we are green, which is not good for the ton of negative delta that I have, but we're counting on momentum to continue to make those trades successful. So let's close our browser so my fan doesn't run so dang much. Okay, so here we are with uh, the futures here in the US. We're at slightly up to flat on the uh, major indexes and gold is up a dollar thirty but still below thirteen hundred it's up a dollar thirty overnight at twelve ninety and oil is up to or at a hundred dollars and forty two cents down thirty five cents overnight i usually don't watch these during the day i uh, just don't have any interest in them other than just to take a peek at them once a day and if I look at them at the same time every day I should have well, relatively consistent information. Alright, yesterday uh, all three of our alerts went off and I entered on all three of the trades uh, Amazon, Chipotle and Netflix and I did them across these two accounts uh, using that uh, tool that is in the confirm and send panel on the thinkorswim platform okay closing this up let's jump over to the a plus list and get going here maybe we can get out a little bit early today how's that all right apple that was a trade that i was dreaming of apple uh, showed a little bit of weakness yesterday uh, maybe some resistance at the 604 this isn't the all-time high for apple when they say the high um, that is on this particular time frame which is one year daily for Apple so that's where that is and we have a target set down here so we are in a setup phase right now on Apple and of course that would be a setup on a 50 delta bull put. Okay, next is Amazon. And we are in Amazon. And we're up, we're showing two accounts here, so I spread this so that two pairs of contracts across each account here. So we have $500 reward and five hundred dollars risk so we're a perfect 50 delta one-to-one -one risk reward trade here and to see that on a chart is this is what we're looking at expiration is this Friday next up is Boeing nothing live there we have a 20 delta here on Boeing, Boeing but makes me a little slightly hesitant because of this upward trend here or at least beginnings of an upward trend and our 20 EMA is definitely on a tear in the upward direction so I might for a 20 Delta I might put more weight on this on the 20 uh, EMA so let me um, not going to actually do anything on this um, actually what is today Thursday Tuesday would have been the day to do this 
So I'm taking a pass on it. I am going to put another target down here just kind of as a reminder that there's something uh, special that I was thinking about here so I can continue to talk about it. Maybe I'll put a note on here after it later. Okay, Baidu. We are in Baidu. This was a 20 delta trade and it seems to be working out good. Now we're looking to possibly condorize it. So would we want to do that? We might want to, this is what I would do here. I would change this to, I'm changing this now based on whatever, you know, yesterday or whatever, because we are in a downtrend, so that's not a really 50 delta here. So we're looking at a 20 delta to condorize it. So what we would do is if we get a hook up here, we would look to go with a bull put with the same expiration. You know, and it would probably be somewhere down here. Let's take a quick look. A bull put at this expiration with a t approximate 20 delta, let's say. Let's just pick 142. So that would bring us down to here and we would have an iron condor starting here at 142. So that could be an interesting trade. Now I want to emphasize that I'm just thinking about it, but here's what makes me a little nervous. We are on a downtrend and we did get a pretty good peg to the downside here on the MACD. So we're already at a negative two with negative momentum. Negative momentum meaning not momentum that brings us to zero, but increasing momentum for price movement to go down. So that's about where we were right here. We were at, um, what are we getting for reading here? We're getting 1.6 and over here we get to 1.8. Uh, we might be, we'll have to see what happens here today. But that's a thought on Baidu. Celgene. We're in Celgene. Uh, looks like a, oh, I don't have it, I do have it marked. No, I don't. All right, I remember uh, talking about this yesterday as having missed an entry on this. Total brain fart. Um, I actually did enter this on Friday with a 20 Delta trade. Uh, just as the indicators gave us this wonderful little entry here for a 20 Delta trade. So here we sit at, uh, let's see, out of, a uh, possible 231, we're at, why are we only at 147 out of a possible 232? Well, we'll let that one sit a while because we are right now nowhere in any danger of that moving against us. All right, so that's enough about cell gene chip. Hopefully, which we got into yesterday, we spread it across a couple different accounts, and here it is. So we're waiting for that one to uh, complete its movement. We are indicating a possible lower here, according to this last trade last night. All right, Costco. We're looking at some trades on that one that we did not get into. We're still waiting for it to come up to our target here. Costco is not having a very good time right now at all. CVX, uh, Chevron, we're looking for a possible movement down here in the near future to give us an entry. Let's take a look at the Dow. It's just kind of churning around here. So the head and shoulders that was forming here looks like it may fail according to what I'm seeing here. 
So we have a 20 delta trade here. Uh, we'll quickly take a look. You know, we would want to go out a couple weeks. So a 20 delta trade would give us, what would it give us? <clears throat> we might have to go to this 162. Give us only nine cents. So that's nine dollars and it would cost me 250 to get into it. Now I could spread this out, but then, you know, I start increasing my risk. So if we take a look at this, we have 16 versus 84. Well, you know, that's about, uh, let's see what that is. We can see on the calculator here, it comes out to about 5.25 to 1. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad trade at all. So I'm going to put it on my 20 Delta list. All right, folks, uh, moving on. Igor, uh, after earnings, we're waiting for it to settle down. Uh, let's say that this trend continues, so we move our target over to there. FedEx. Are we in FedEx? No, I don't see anything. We're not in FedEx here. Had a real nice move yesterday. Um, must have got some good news somehow or another. So I'm putting them on my 20 Delta list. There's not a lot of momentum here. What's this one at? This is at, I'm looking at what pops up in this box here when I put my cursor over it, and we're looking at 0.5 on the MACD. So there's not a whole heck of a lot of momentum in this thing, which is why we would kind of gr gravitate towards a 20 delta trade. Okay, so for F5 networks, um, this was this a 20 delta trade? Yeah, this was a 20 delta trade. We are almost at max profit, so I'm going to rack this one as a exit for today. So what I would do here is let's see here. When's when's our uh, I just want to do, let me look here. This is uh, expiring this Friday. All right, so I want to see. I want to see where we are here with the shorts. We're at 0.7. So what I would do is I would just say, let's get out of here. Um, 12 cents. Wow, there must be a big spread in the bid ask. So I want to buy these back, but I'm going to do it for 4 cents. That's it. So now we have a pending order hanging out there. I can't believe that they're still up there at seven and a half cents and then it let's take a look at the bid ask on that on those shorts yeah three cents and twelve cents <laughs> no way i'm paying twelve cents to buy that back i'll buy it back for four cents and i may get it today you just never know all right gold are we in gold with this covered call, but nothing else? Uh, we had a 20 delta setting up yesterday. I'm going to stay away from it. It made too much of a move uh, yesterday. I would, this, you know, in this time frame would have been the time to do it. So I'm going to take a pass on that. Uh, Google waiting for it to give us an entry. And I'll probably go with, if we ever get up here, I'll probably go with two, 150 Delta and 120 Delta. IWM, um, 
this was curious. Hmm. Big range yesterday. Um, big range to the downside. Sort of recovered. We'll have to see how rut looks for this morning. We can see that it looks like it's going to open up just a tad. LinkedIn. Waiting for an entry up here. 3M. Uh, didn't quite come down and catch an entry here. Um, if I would have looked at this yesterday, I may have considered this for a 20 delta with this kind of movement. So it's, you know, in the morning at 10 o'clock, which is when I was looking at a lot of things and making most of the trades that I entered yesterday, this would have been a good one provided, of course, that we had green uh, stochastic and MACD it would have been a good entry for a 20 delta on that. Netflix we're in. And here's how that looks. We got in uh, all these right around 10 o'clock yesterday. Big red movement here in just two days. Would have been better if I would have caught this on the first day. Naturally. Hindsight. You know about hindsight, right? Okay, Priceline uh, missed an entry on that, but we have earnings coming up uh, before the market opens today. So that could be an interesting ride for Priceline. Uh, the Qs, we are in on the Qs with this 20 Delta. Where are we at here? Um, we also might want to get out of this one. Our short is at 0.45, so we're gonna I'm gonna put an order in on this one too, and I'm gonna make this one four. Maybe I'll make this one three cents, and that's the only way that I need to uh, exit these. on the Thinkorswim platform because there is no transaction fee for buying back your short if it's less than a nickel. A nickel or less, I believe. All right, uh, Russell. How are we doing on Russell? Okay, we... This is, uh, expires the week after next Friday, so that's a little bit more than two weeks out. It's doing fine. Nothing to get excited about there, except profits. We don't want to get too excited about profits, because we don't want to get greedy, I guess you might say. All right, spiders. Um, just didn't do anything there. Um, might have been a good time. I doubt that we had green in the morning. I bet you that turned green in the afternoon probably on this bar at 3.30. So we're, we're just taking a pass on that. TLT we are in with a couple of different spreads with different expirations and different strikes. And we're looking pretty good there. Just waiting for those to mature. Tesla. Uh, looks like we might be in the beginnings of a new downtrend. Earnings, um, wow, they actually made money, but doesn't matter to the market. <laughs> they were expecting a loss here of nine and a half cents, and they actually made 12 cents, and look what the market does. Well, I heard that there's a competition coming out from BMW. I think it was BMW. So we're going to wait for Tesla to settle down a little bit. Uh, we have 20 Delta on UNP that we're just keeping an eye on for right now. And then Visa, which is our last one on our list, didn't give us our entry yesterday. So um, we're just floating along here. So this is still a setup for a 20 Delta. I'm going to reapply them to my 20 delta list. 
And then lastly, before I leave you, I wanted to let you know that I try to tweet out as often as possible my trade within a couple minutes after making it. So if you want to um, follow me on Twitter and put an alert on it whenever I, I tweet something. God, I feel like a dork talking like this. But anyway, I wish I'd come up with some sort of different name than Twitter. It just reminds me of Tweety Bird. Remember I thought I saw a pussy tat? I did, I did see a pussy tat. Anyway, um, I try to tweet them out as quickly as possible. So check out my Twitter account if you're a Twitterette or Twittery. And uh, maybe that if you want to follow along with my trades, this will alert you as quickly as possible no matter what trading platform you use. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.